We are about to demonstrate some of the abilities of the Drill Sim 5000. Prior to drilling, the student will need to shut down the trip tank and line up the active pit to the mud pumps and returns to the shakers. Via the student station touchscreens, the student has the ability to select what active pit to use, transfer fluids around the surface network, and even change the type and density of the desired drilling fluid. Using the student control station, we will line up mud pumps 1 and 2 to standpipe 1. We will then line up the choke line to the mud gas separator and have the manifold lined up for the hard shot in method with the auto choke fully closed. Once all the lineups are complete, we will now turn on the mud pumps and break circulation watching for standpipe pressure breaking over, followed by return flow. Note that flow line and drain back volumes are all fully configurable via the instructor station. Once returns are established, we start the TDS and rotation while bringing the pumps up to drilling flow rate. Once our flow rate and pressures have stabilised and before going to bottom drilling, we must set our alarms. Return flow should be set 5% high and low of the current flow rate and the gain loss should be set to zero and set to 5 BBLs high and low. Once rotation of the string is established and the torque has levelled out, we are now ready to slack off the drill string and lower the bit to bottom you will see an increase in return flow as the string displaces the mud from the well. The driller tags bottom and drills ahead slowly, increasing the weight on bit to 20k. The drilling trend screen on the driller support monitor will record all drilling parameters once they have stabilised on bottom, so we can monitor for any changes. For an enhanced learning experience, the downhole graphics display gives the student real-time footage of what is happening at the bit. This can easily be disabled via the instructor station, depending on the lesson or training that is being delivered. The student has observed a drilling break with an increase in ROP and decrease in weight on bit. He will then pick up off bottom with pumps on to maximise ECD and space out the drill string to ensure there is no tool joints in the BOP. Then shut down the pumps and flow check the well on the trip tank. Music 
With no flow detected, we can now line back up for drilling, re-establish drill parameters, go back to bottom and continue to drill ahead. Another drilling break has been observed. And this time with an indication of increase in return flow. The student will pick up off bottom as before with the pumps on, space out, shutdown pumps and flow check. By the time we have spaced out, there is already an increase in the gain loss, and when the pumps go off, we have a positive indication the well is flowing. In this situation, to minimise the size of a potential influx, we can miss out flow checking on the trip tank and go straight to closing in the well. Ensure the gallon count is zeroed on the bot panel, activate the push to operate button, and function the annular, waiting for the light to change, the pressure to drop, and the gallon count to start. Wait for the correct gallon count and pressures to build back up. Verify return flow has stopped via the driller's console. Open the choke line HCR of the BOP panel. We can then go to the choke panel and start recording initial shot pressures. At this stage, the well is now secure and we have time to think and prepare for the well kill operation, which would be the next phase in the well control training. <laughs> 